In today's video, we're going to explore how to access vSphere ESXi shell, both locally and remotely. First up, let's talk about accessing the vSphere ESXi shell locally. This method requires physical access to the DCUI, along with administrator privileges. Activate the vSphere ESXi shell service, either in the DCUI or the vSphere client. Log in to the ESXi DCUI and navigate to troubleshooting options. Then, select Enable ESXi Shell and press Enter to enable it. You can use the Enter key to enable and disable the ESXi Shell. Press the Escape key to exit from the menu. In the ESXi web interface, right click on the host and select Services. In the Services menu, click on Enable ESXi Shell. After enabling it, you can see the information message on the ESXi host indicating that the host shell has been enabled. Connect to the server directly and press Alt plus F1 to access the shell. Now, you have full access to the ESXi shell for any necessary configurations or troubleshooting. To return to the main DCUI view, simply press Alt plus F2. Don't forget, it's important to deactivate the vSphere ESXi shell service when you're done using it. Next, let's explore how to access the vSphere ESXi shell remotely. For this, we'll be utilizing SSH, but remember, SSH access should only be activated temporarily due to security concerns. To access vSphere ESXi shell remotely through SSH, activate the SSH service, either in the DCUI or the vSphere client. Log in to the DCUI and navigate to Troubleshooting Options. Select Enable SSH and press Enter. You can enable and disable SSH using the Enter key. In the ESXi web interface, right-click on the host, navigate to Services, and click on Enable Secure Shell. Use an SSH client, such as PuTTY, to securely access the vSphere ESXi shell. Just like before, Remember to deactivate the SSH service when you're finished. Lastly, we have the option to use standalone ESXCLI remotely. With the standalone ESXCLI command set, you can run common system administration and configuration tasks against vSphere systems from an administration server of your choice. Standalone ESXCLI can be installed on supported operating systems, such as Windows and Linux. I will upload a separate video for how to install and use standalone ESXCLI. Now we will learn configuring the vSphere ESXi SSH timeout settings. The availability timeout setting determines how long new connections are allowed after the service is activated. Open the vSphere web client and navigate to the Manage, System, Advanced Settings and find the ESXi shell timeout. You can change this value by click Edit Options. In the vSphere web client, these values are measured in seconds for precise control over the timeout durations. Alternatively, you can also configure these settings using the DCUI. Logging to DCUI and navigate to Troubleshooting Options and select Modify ESXi Shell Timeout Settings. However, in the DCUI, the values are measured in minutes. In summary, by configuring these settings, you can enhance the security and efficiency of your vSphere environment. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.